at it again and we've got to talk about some things because there was something quite interesting that happened on cbs that i want to talk to you guys about uh but before we get into that i want to play this clip from the owner or ceo of atlas intel and if you aren't familiar with atlas intel i talked i touched on it a little bit yesterday in one of yesterday's videos but atlas intel uh they had a poll in 2020 that was rated as the most accurate poll and they were one of the most accurate polls also in 2022 as well so these are this is a very very accurate poll uh and i talked about how the top three most accurate polls uh as i said this in yesterday's video the top three most accurate polls all have trump projected to win and i want to play this clip from the ceo of atlas and then we'll get into what uh cbs had to say check out this clip right here let's dive in true well i'm very much oriented by the the numbers we have mm -hmm. uh and i believe in those numbers and if i believe in those numbers and i think about how this plays out um you know swing state by swing state and that is something that we'll be releasing next week um i would give trump 70 percent chance of winning mm -hmm. and kamala 30 percent that means that you know kamala still, ha still has a chance but I wouldn't call this race that narrow at this point in time based on this built-in advantage that, that Trump has. That's fair. Now, you were uh, a few, a few, maybe two weeks ago, you told mm -hmm. me you were 60-40 for Trump. Mm -hmm. was, it, was it our poll right now that, that changed that perception and yeah, made I mean, you give, if, like, after all that, after all it's of still this the momentum. same? 70% chance to win. Now, does that mean that Trump is guaranteed to win? Absolutely not. And that's why I always say when I make these types of videos, we still have to do our part. Whether that's getting in contact with a guy like Scott Pressler to get people registered, whether that's uh, um, getting in contact with TPUSA, getting, working the phones, going door to door, right? We still have to keep our pedal to the metal. Uh, but we're on track right now to take home a W. We're on track. Um, and, and, you know, I, I think he said it perfectly when he said she still has a shot. And that's what uh, also Ben Carson also said in, in a video that I showed you guys. It was probably a few weeks ago now. But uh, Ben Carson was like, yeah, she can win. And that's the truth. That's the truth. Kamala can win. If we relax, she will win. I mean, it, it's just I mean, it's just that simple because, you know, Democrats aren't going to lay down or go down easily because once they do, it's it's over with. But let me play this clip <clears throat> from CBS because I think it says a whole, whole lot. Check it out. What issue is most important to you? I'm extremely concerned about the border. Illegals, they gotta go. People are coming here seeking asylum. Baloney. They're coming here for the freebies. When people talk about immigration, they're thinking we're saying we don't want immigrants of any kind, and that's not what people are saying. People are saying that there are people who have come here legally. Why do they get pushed aside to allow people who have not even worked one day in our country, have not paid into the system? I took my brisket and mac and cheese with me to catch Ken Lasker with a to-go order. How closely are you watching this election? Oh, very closely. He was the only Harris supporter we met at lunch, even though Washoe County has historically been pretty politically split. Did you catch what she said there? The only one, the only one. Okay, and and this is this is kind of a theme, and I'm 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 leading it to something here. I'm gonna play the second clip from CBS. Check out what she says. We had like that. so much fun, but what was really incredible is in every single restaurant of the people willing to talk to us, we could only find one Harris supporter in mm. every restaurant, and we left no stone unturned. I approached every single person. Huh. We had no stone left unturned. And they could only find one Harris or Kamala, really her last name is Emhoff, uh, Kamala supporter in each restaurant. One. Now, does that mean that there weren't any more Kamala supporters in that restaurant? No, of course not. Duh. But out of all the people that they talked to, and she said she left no stone left unturned. So she was trying to talk to everybody. One. One. And that is a recurring theme. And that's why when I make, when I've made videos in the past and I've said, ignore these BS polls, pay attention to Rasmussen. 
I've always provided clips like this uh, that I'm about to show you. Um, we're, we're about to get into it as evidence as to why I'm saying this. Because when you walk the streets, when you just, just walk the streets and talk to folks, most people aren't supporting Kamala, even Don Lemon himself. Y'all remember this clip? We're here in Jersey, Atlantic City. Who do you support? Trump. I, I plead the fifth. Trump for the win. But tell me why. I can't really call that right now, but I just feel like she's not good for president. She's good vice, but not for the actual lead role for the country. Does it have anything to do with being a woman? No. Mm -mm. No, because I feel like women, mm, nah, you're not going to give me that. Your money's on Harris. Yeah. Who do you want? Trump. Why don't you like Harris? Oh, she doesn't have any experience. Uh, she's she the vice president. Five. She's a she, senator. Yeah, no, no experience. No, no, no. She had no experience. Well, I want Donald Trump. I just feel we need somebody that has a stronger background with the military and the world in general. She was a prosecutor and an attorney general and a senator and a vice president. You're in a gambling town. Who's your money on? I'm going to support the Democratic Party, but I mean, Trump looked like he, he got it in the bag right now. Four years ago, it was a lot better. I made a lot more money than I do now. I know you feel that way, mm -hmm. but that's not actually what the record shows. The economy is actually better <laughs> under Biden. No, I'm serious. What, what? That's what the facts are. Okay, you know what? No, 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 that's not because I watched CNN. Trump or Harris? Trump. That's who's going to win. That's who's going to win. Who do you support? I support Trump. All the people that came to this country legally, it's not fair that they're letting all 10,000 to 15,000 people or 20,000 people here illegally. Have you seen San Diego? Yeah. They're coming to, They're coming off the boats off the water right here off the ocean. Did you Did you know Biden was flying them in? Did you know Biden was flying them in? Did you, you didn't know that? What do you Canadians think about what's going on here? We think you're all nuts. We're just watching from afar and just enjoying the show. Now, <clears throat> that was just a Don Lemon clip. Now, I want you to pay attention to what he told Jin Saki when he went on MSDNC. Check it out. Was there anything? What did they think about Harris? Did they have anything to say about her? Uh, they did have. Uh, listen, um, it depends on where you are. We went to a number of different battleground states in Pennsylvania, Ohio. Uh, we were in Michigan, Indiana. Uh, on our way, obviously, uh, Illinois, on our way to Chicago. And it, it sort of depended on where you were. Pennsylvania, is, well, I shouldn't say Pennsylvania, I should say Philadelphia, was a bit more liberal, and the answers uh, to the questions about her and him were quite different. But for the most part, um, in Pittsburgh or in at the Jersey Shore and in, in Atlantic City, in Ohio especially, um, m many people did not know who she was. Right. They, they weren't familiar with her. So I think she has to reintroduce herself to the public. But for him, uh, I think that they thought that he's better for the economy and that, again, that he gave them that he brought money into the community. And that. Mm hmm. Notice how he stuttered, too, when she asked him about well, what they have to say about Kamala. Uh, well, uh, well, just put it on where you went. <laughs> But that's the recurring theme, and that's why I've been showing you guys all of these types of videos where folks are just walking around, like this clip here that I'm about to show you, in a grocery store just asking random, regular, regular folks, like you and I, Trump or Kamala? Trump or Kamala? Oh, you mean for the election? Yeah. Trump, are you kidding? I got you one of these. Another one? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Trump or Kamala? Trump. Trump or Kamala? Trump. Trump or Kamala? What was that? Trump or Kamala? Uh, probably Kamala. All right, well, I got you one of these today. Okay. You want to take it? I mean, for what? Trump or Kamala? Trump. Trump or Kamala? Trump. Excuse me, sir? Trump or Kamala for president? Trump. Trump or Kamala for president? Kamala. Kamala? Yeah. I'm going to give you one of these today. But. <laughs> Excuse me, sir? Trump or Kamala? Trump. Trump or Kamala? Kamala. Why is that? Because Trump's a liar and a felon. I got this for you today. No, thanks. I don't want that track. Trump's a piece of shit. Here. <laughs> so, 
three out of what? I don't know. 12, 13, three. That's all you could do. But this is supposed to be like a really neck and neck, really close election. And I mean, I, I, I've got videos out the wazoo. Like I've shown you guys a lot of these different videos, like this one, for example. Love for Kamala! As a lesbian, I would love to know. Oh, I love that. You want Kamala too, right? I don't, I'm voting for Trump. No, stop! <laughs> we're at the Santa Rosalia Feast in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn, and we're asking people the tough questions. Trump or Kamala? Trump or Kamala? Kamala, all the way. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, Trump, a... Trump, Trump, sorry, Trump. Oh, okay, I was going to say, Trump. oh my yeah. God, you had me nervous. Trump. Trump. Obviously, I mean, come on, man, let's go. Trump! 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 Trump or Kamala? Sorry, I don't care about that. Oh. He doesn't care about the world. Kamala. Trump or Kamala? Never cover, never Kamala. Trump. Trump. He says what he does. God is my president. Trump or Kamala? Trump. Trump or Kamala? Trump or Kamala? Come on, seriously? Trump. 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 I love Trump too. Yeah. <laughs> There's no wrong answer. Trump or Kamala? Neither. Wrong. Kamala. Kamala. Why? I don't know. Trump or Kamala? Kamala? Of course. How come? <laughs> I'm not gonna get into this right now. You have to have a reason. Like everybody else, no fucking answer. We've been at the feast for over an hour now, and we have yet to hear an actual, factual, logical answer to why someone is voting for Kamala Harris. Why do you like Trump? Look where we at now. I think that explains enough. <laughs> Trump's not all that bad. What nationality are you? Puerto Rican. Love it. Well, I mean, shall I continue? Because got, I've got more, right? And granted, yes, I'm showing you some of these videos in the past. Uh, like, uh, where, where's another one? Uh, where's a, where's that one? Oh, I got one? Uh, let's see here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Like, I've shown you guys this one before as well. Check out this clip. Oh, is they gonna be Trump? Trump. They gonna Why you want for Trump? They gonna make the economy lit again. Okay, so you looking for that good stimulus. Something like it, something similar to it? Nah, I get money. I don't need that government assistance. What do you think about Kamala? She, um, a puppet on a string. It's tap dancing. Well, it's been. At the end of the day, I'm gonna leave you with this: people are like tea bags. You never know who they are until you dip their ass in some hot water. But why Kamala? You know, it is just she's been running the country for four years, so might as well four more, right? Who are you voting for? Donald Trump. That's my president for sure. I'm a Donald Trump fan. I love his leadership. I love the priority of. That man's voice is crazy deep. <laughs> crazy deep. Uh, but yeah, you, you you get the message. Like, of course, yes, you're gonna run into a Kamala supporter. Like, that's just a given. But out of the hundred people you interview, I mean, maybe, maybe 30, 35 are Kamala supporters. Maybe. And all of the rest, Trump. Trump. Like, what are you talking about? Trump. What do you mean? Trump. Trump. Like, so <laughs> For me, like, it's obvious, even the clip, and I forgot to even pull this one up, I just thought about it just now, but I showed you guys the clip of the, the black lady in Chicago, or not Chicago, excuse me, in Michigan, that was going door to door for Democrats, and she was basically almost in tears, because she was running into so many Trump supporters in Michigan, I saw, some of y'all remember that video, uh, I, I don't even remember if I saved it, where, I don't even know where, where it would be at, at this point, I might have saved it somewhere, but yeah, she was going door to door for Democrats and like realized, oh crap, there's a lot of Trump supporters. <laughs> so like the whole point of this video is once again, don't be discouraged. Don't, don't be, don't, don't, don't feel down because that is the, I, for me, I think that is the purpose of a lot of these polls where it's, oh, Kamala's, Kamala's got the lead right now. She's on track for an electoral win. No, 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 no. I think those polls are to demoralize us, to make us give up and give in the same way that the, the lopsided media is where they got 99% positive coverage for Kamala and like 98% negative coverage for Trump. It's it, For me, it's the same situation. Like two plus two is adding up to four here. Why would they never criticize Kamala, which there's plenty to criticize her on, So, that, but they basically never do it but then on the flip side, all they do is criticize Trump and J.D. Vance. That's all they do. That's literally all they do. To me, that, that, that shows desperation. Because if you truly felt like you could win on policies and policies alone, 
uh, because you were running this country great, you wouldn't do stuff like that. If you truly felt like you were winning, these attempts on Trump's life wouldn't continue to happen, in my humble opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. Y'all can let me know how you feel in the comment section. But in my humble opinion, a lot of this stuff wouldn't happen. Because why would you try to take out your political opponent, allegedly, uh, if you were winning? And case in point, right, uh, and, and I said this in yesterday's video, uh, I said the same thing when Republicans were trying to go after Biden and get him taken off the ticket. I'm like, yo, what are we doing? Stop it. Some of y'all remember those videos. I still got them right. I still got them up on the channel. So you can fact check me if you want to. But I said, what, what are we doing? Like, why are we trying to take Biden off of the ticket? Like, we have him beat. Let's beat him. We have him right where we want him. Let's finish the job. Like, what are, what are we doing? Like, elections not too far away. Let's beat this guy. Like, that that just logically did not make sense to me. And it doesn't make sense to me to continually go after Trump if you feel like you have him beat. You see what I'm saying? Uh, it doesn't make sense when somebody like Jamie Raskins comes out and says, well, after Trump wins, you know, it's going to be up to us in Congress to, you know, tell America that they can't have Trump. Well, why would you come out and say that if you didn't feel like he was going to win? You see what I'm saying? And I showed you guys that video as well of Jamie Raskin, Jamie Raskin saying that, saying, well, we're going to need security, 24-hour security, because we're going to have to tell the American people Trump, Trump can't be, be your president. Oh. So you're saying that he is going to win. He is on traject, you know, uh, he, he is on the trajectory to win on, you know, so what you're saying is on uh, or in your internal polls, your Democrat, because, of course, both parties have internal polls that, you know, typically are a lot more accurate than what the public polls, uh, you know, say that are pushed out to us. So they know the truth on the inside. And to me, that was like an indication of, oh, crap. Our, our internal polling isn't great. It's not good, okay? Like, do we still have a shot at winning? Yeah, but it's looking pretty bleak. Looking very bleak right now. That's what that said to me. And then when you have the most accurate poll from 2020, as well as 2022, and the top three polls in accuracy from 2020 all are saying Trump win. I mean, come on now. I'm just saying. Don't be discouraged. Be encouraged. Let this be some motivation to you to put that pedal down to the metal because we are on the right track. Y'all stay safe out there. Peace and love. I'm out.